with us Kevin Heiser with IT Martini. We're here in Indianapolis for IT Martini 15, and I'm here with Andrew Kirk from EatDrink.it. Tell me a little bit about EatDrink.it, where the idea came from, and how this all came together. Certainly, yeah. We are a mobile app right now. We're uh, built on HTML5, so anyone can access it from a smartphone, and we'll hopefully go to native apps soon. But the idea is that when you go to a restaurant, you can leave a review of the meal specific. It's not just the restaurant like Yelp or Urban Spoon, but it's meal specific, and you can remember that in the future, and you can also share it with the community and provide feedback on, did you like that meal? or did you not, and why someone should have that in the future. For what exactly does that mean by community? Well, basically what it means is that you can provide your input whether you liked it or not. And when you go back to that restaurant, you can see personally as a remembering system, I like this or didn't. And then I can also see what did all users like or dislike. And then from a social standpoint, you can also check into Foursquare so you can continue to get your mayorships badges. And you can promote it out to Twitter saying, I like this. So it's a couple levels of sharing. Hey, you mentioned Foursquare. Um, so are you tied into Foursquare in one way or another? We are. We're actually uh, technically a location-based service app because we are built on top of the Foursquare API. So when you pull up the application, you will see restaurants in your current location. And those are pulled in from Foursquare and then filtered for restaurant and food-specific locations. Well, and I know we had talked earlier and you told me a little bit about Startup Weekend. If I'm not mistaken, that was only, what, three, four weeks ago? Yeah. And you, and you guys already have a product out. Tell me a little bit about how that all came together and what you guys have gone through to get the product out the door. Yeah, I mean, it was really exciting. We, we went to Startup Weekend. We spent about 50 hours and, and we built this app. And that's kind of why we built it as HTML5 because we said Sunday night of that Startup Weekend, we want to have something that we can get up, demo live, and show people and let them use. So we're really excited about that. It was a fun experience, and, and moving forward, we're going to build those native apps so that we can continue that. But it was exciting, and we're just moving forward. We've built the Foursquare integration and the Twitter integration since then. And currently, we're in talks with some strategic partners as far as restaurants, uh, coupons, those kind of things, so that we can add more value to the app. But it sounds like maybe there's a potential for revenue coming from restaurants and so forth? Well, I think there's a lot of restaurants that see Foursquare and these other location-based services saying, this is great. People are checking in. But now what? I want to know, did they have a good experience? Did they like that meal? And I'm sure a lot of restaurants would say, customer, let me stop you and fill out a 10-question you know, survey. But people aren't going to do that. This way, we can glean that information and then give that back to the restaurants. And there's value to the restaurants of the user experience from our app. As you are talking to people and you're telling them, go vote for me for the Community Choice Award, and they're walking over that ballot box, what's the last thing you want them to be remembering when they walk away from your uh, booth here? We want them to remember that we're here to serve value to them, to the community, and to the restaurants, and to just, to just have a good time and save them money when they're going forward, and that we'll see them at IT Martini Event 16. Excellent. It was very nice meeting you, Andrew, and wish you the best of luck. Thanks.